I'm Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade and we are outside today and I'm going to talk about goji berries. Um, as you can see, these are my goji berry plants here and this is the fruit that I've just picked. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous fruit. So what I'm going to talk about today is the do's and don'ts and what I have um, taught myself about growing gojis. First of all, you need to order um, a good seed. If you are on a tight budget, you could just go and buy a, go a dried goji berry from the bulk um, store section or whatever, or you can spend 10 bucks, I think that's all I paid, um, and ordered from a goji nursery in Saskatchewan. Go on Google, type in um, Saskatchewan goji nursery, it's the first one that pops up. Excellent service, quality seeds, I would definitely recommend them. So that's where I got mine from. Now. Let's take a look. Orion, you want to kind of show? And I just want to say thank you to my nine-year-old for filming here today. Look how big this goji plant is. Now, this has been hacked and trimmed and cut at least four or five times each year. These goji plants are now seven years old, and they are in full um, fruit-producing um, time of their life. Okay, the do's. Buy good quality seed. Once you've done that, what I like to do is plant them in each separate pots because they're really um, touchy on their roots at first. So put two seeds in every pot, pick out the strongest, or what you could do is put three seeds in one pot and when it comes up, braid the stems to get, that's what I want to experiment because they're very versatile, so braid the stems and get it into a really strong stem. That would be something else to, to look at. But separate the plants right when you put them in the seeds. Then when you get them in the ground, baby them like you would baby any other tree for the first year. Once they get through the first year and the first winter, you are on the road to success because you can't kill these guys. You could hack them off at the roots and they'll still come back, okay? That's how, that's how um, strong they are. They do good with drought, rainy season, anything, okay? After that first year, you're good to go. Now let's the don'ts, okay? Do not plant them without any kind of structure for them to lean on or a trellis or a big tree. This is what I have learned here. They keep falling this way. We've had tied them from the post here. As you can see, there's a post over there. We had tied them to another post over here, back and forth. It has broke at least three or four times besides putting chains on it because the wind comes here and basically tunnels down um, this area so the wind gets pretty violent that doesn't work so when we move what I want to do is I want to put like a trellis area in the back here and either weave them in or grow them on another existing tree so let's say a big oak tree or um, a big maple tree something like that where I can wind them around the trunk have these plants as a shade for that trunk and that way they have the support make sure you plant them on the south side or a west side where they get at least nine hours of sun per day in the summer and you will be having tremendous fruit the other thing is I'm gonna put this bowl down for a second let's take a look at here let's take a look at the branch you have purple flowers and over here you got white flowers so they got male and female flowers on the same plant so you don't got to worry about which plant is male which plant is female the other thing is the berries are all intertwined everywhere okay and they're bright so they're easy to see the other cool thing is this they fruit all year round so they bloom produce fruit bloom produce fruit bloom produce fruit all the way to September in northern Alberta um, so as you can see, I've got fruit here, and then all of this up here, Orion, look at this, all of this here is blooming again and producing fruit. So I have harvests throughout. All of this here is blooming and producing fruit. So I can pick and pick and pick all year round, or not, not all year round, all summer round, I should say. They go dormant and they're one of the first things that pop up alive in the spring. It is just magnificent. Never ever had trouble with aphids, any other pests. 
they are just phenomenal so i can't say more i can't say anything bad about gojis just be careful where you plant them they're huge they're tall and and you need something to support them something to wind around something like that the other thing is when you're trimming them when you're trimming them um if you don't want the leaves you can actually use the leaves for tea um chickens like them ducks like to eat the leaves the other thing is be careful on the thorns here <laughs> the thorns here as you can see there are definitely thorns and no one told me that when i was growing gojis but my word there are thorns look at the little ones starting here and they get really big um and prickly okay so watch yourself when you are picking because there are thorns on gojis the other thing to keep in mind is they sucker and they sucker well and they come up all over the place if you come over here and follow me into my lavender patch that i want to save seed from this year i have a goji berry here i got gojis growing here and soon they're going to take over into my spearmint patch here okay i have you can have a goji hedge really easily so just make sure that you know that they do sucker um but if you have the space it's great and if they do sucker you can chop them off you'll just have to rage war on the suckers a little bit okay otherwise enjoy your gojis take that information put them in a good location and have lots of fun and in, and when you start from seed you've got to give it about seven years you got to be patient but once they start all your efforts are completely worthwhile okay these ones this one here is only a um, two-year-old sucker as you can see there's no fruit it's growing beautifully so we're going to be at probably another three years before this one produces fruit but patience pays off and gojis are absolutely the most wonderful fruit i can't say they're the best tasting fruit in the world but they're definitely on the top 10 list thanks so much and if you have any questions, send me an uh, email um, or send me a, a quick message on, on YouTube. Share, enjoy, and you can, in northern Alberta, grow grogies with success. Thanks so much.